Hello, this is Tony Tony's Music and the administrator of Doodly and Tunley PNGs. I'm on Affinity Designer and I'm going to um, create a new document because I want to show you uh, something about SVG um, images that I'm going to create a uh, SVG image for use on uh, Doodly, which is uh, one of my animation apps. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a circle. And I'm just going to put that there and put it on a colour like that. And get a rectangle. Put that in as well like that, say. Or maybe even less. Like that. Right now, I want that to be blue. So I'll just change that colour. And say you've got somewhere else. Let's put the star in the top like that. And that one, you can have that green like that right now. We um, select all those, right? Now, what I want to do is I'm just I've just done that as an example. Now, if you just export it as an SVG, and you you can click do whatever you want, high quality, whatever you want to do, right? And then selection only, export that. Right, and then just change it to um, star sir rect yes yeah, so that's got a funny name to it so I know what that is right so I've done that right now I've saved it as SVG. So I'm going to come off there, go on to Doodly. If I can, if they'll let me. Right now, Doodly is this drawing app that I use. They're doing like sort of special kind of drawing um, things. And what I'm going to do is just create a, a new, a new one, sort of tester. All right, just call it test then. Right, and put it as 1080 there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and import that SVG file. We do this, uh, oh, that's gone to the wrong place. I need to do it onto desktop. All right now, we find that. If I can find it, All right, I need to find. The file. The side there it is. Star separate. All right, and it comes up like that. So I'm just going to continue with that on. So it's on there, but let's just check whether we can load the SVG paths and see what happens. Right, let's have a look. What's it done? It's only showing the star. It didn't show any other things, right? So that's now good to me. That's the problem, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what people do do. I've, I've done it myself. And I've found the answer since doing this. I'll just discard that for now. Right. We'll go back on there. What I was told was once by somebody that you need to improve the stroke. Now, there's a stroke up here and you improve the stroke on there. You can do that like that a bit. Then try saving that. Export that as an SVG again. And then save it as the same thing like that. Now I'm replacing it like that. Now we come off that program. Go back on Doodly again. Restart Doodly in a second. There we go, it's on. Right, and click on test and try adding it again like that and see if it makes a difference. And you'll find it doesn't, but I'll, I'm just going to show you what happens when you do it that way. It doesn't work, right? So, from there, right now, I'm going to click on it and try and load the SVGs, and you'll see what happens. 
He's done a bit more, but he hasn't done a lot. Right? So, it doesn't work right, still. Right? So what you have to do, I'll show you what you have to do. Because I've, I've found out how to do it now. Right, instead of using the stroke there, you need to go to properties here and improve that stroke. That's the only difference. That's all you have to do. Just that one instead. And I don't know why it doesn't work on that one, but it, it has to work on properties one. And then you do export SVG, whatever, uh, selection only, export that, click it on the one you want, there you go. Now if I go out of this and on to doodly again, right, I'm on the tester and click on the file, browse for the file. There it is up there. Okay. Now there it is there. Continue that. Right now if I click on that now and do that. Allow the SVG path for that. And it does a lot. Miracle. So that's how it works. That's how you can do it so you can get the actual layer paths on it. So I hope this is useful to you. I only just found out about it recently, so um, I thought I'd better do a tutorial so you lot can uh, see what to do. And then once you've done that, you can save it. And then you can move that to any size you want and it should be perfectly fine. I think it up like that. Right, brilliant. Okay, because it's an SVG, you can scale it any size you want, and it'll still set, keep its view as good as anything else, really. Like that, see, so that's that's the difference in SVG compared to PNG and something else. Okay, well, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you for. Uh, watching this video. Thank you and have a good day